you guys welcome to my channel my name is Lexi if you haven't seen my face before go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have yet to do so and I guess I'll go ahead and do a nice comment shout out for this video just for toots and giggles the nice comment shout out of the video goes to this person right here thank you so so much for all of your kind words they truly truly mean the world and if you want to be my next nice comment shout out in my next video just leave a nice comment down below a huge and warm welcome you guys to this video this is going to be my fourth annual college like dorm slash apartment haul i started doing these hauls and it was sort of the catalyst for the direction that my channel headed and is now so this is kind of where it all started i started doing these videos before my freshman year of college started it is now pretty much four years later and i am going to be i am it sounds so crazy to say that out loud but now i am a senior in college i go to lehigh university i am a cognitive science and journalism double major and i am from atlanta georgia although lehigh is in pa so i'm filming this at home in my home in the suburbs of atlanta but next week by the time you guys are seeing this video i will be all moved in to my brand new apartment so just for a little background information my freshman year of course i did stay in a dorm room i did a full-blown like starter dorm hall my sophomore year i did stay home for remote learning but i actually did partner up with the container store to do another college dorm slash apartment hall and then my junior year which is obviously last year i lived in an apartment for the first time and i had three roommates so there were four of us total and now that i'm a senior i am going to be living in another apartment but i will be living on my own for the first time ever which is super super exciting as always i will have absolutely everything possible that i can link in the description box for you guys to shop if you guys are going to buy the product anyway, I would really 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 appreciate it if you guys shopped the link that I provide in my description box for that item because I do make a very small commission off of your purchase at no additional cost to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you guys are new here, check out all of my college content and just all of the content on my channel. I am a college lifestyle YouTuber, but I also do dabble in fashion, beauty, and travel. So definitely check out a lot of my content. If you are clicking on this video and watching this video, you're gonna enjoy the rest of my channel as well. All right. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. Oh my gosh, that's much needed. Right now, I am drinking a peach matcha lemonade, and it's so, so good. Obsessed. I needed this to get through all of the things that I'm going to show you guys in this video. I was debating on dividing everything into the different stores that I shopped at, but I feel like that would be a little much for you guys to process as viewers. So I'm just gonna go by room. You guys know the drill. I am first going to start with a combination of decor, including bedroom and living room stuff and bathroom stuff as well. So let's go ahead and start that right now. The first couple of items, which are the most exciting, I have talked about in a previous vlog, and they are these two throw pillows from World Market that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one i will say that my decor is a combination between like a warm toned bohemian style and mid-century modern i just love when those two interior design styles come together and you can make it as minimalistic as maximalistic is that a word or as eclectic as you want to and i really really like a nice kind of balance of both of those interior design styles so you guys will definitely see that in this video so here i do have this gorgeous pillow from world market like i was just explaining it does have these beautiful warm tones which are the main colors in my decor color palette and just my overall apartment theme um and it has been since my freshman year but also it has these tassels that make it a very like bohemian style style while at the same time having this geometric pattern that kind of hints towards that mid-century modern style that I was talking about. Next up I do have another world market pillow and this one is also sort of like a geometric mid-century modern sort of style but the texture really does lean in towards that boho interior design style that I love as well. I will insert a picture of my bedroom from my last apartment here. And so this is my color scheme. It's sort of like a eggplant, deep purple color, a mustard or marigold yellow, a nice pink and little hints of like a muted coral. That is the color scheme that I'm sticking with. I have not gotten tired of it yet. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. I love those colors. These pillows will be going on my couch in my living room. Another thing I feel like I should mention is I will be living in a studio apartment. So pretty much everything 
loves all gonna be together but the way that i've mapped out exactly how i'm going to decorate is really gonna maximize the space and also create a lot of separation which is like really important for me i don't want to feel like i'm just like living in a dorm room another decor item that's still like very functional i got this beautiful throw from marshall's i'm going to tell you guys i'm obsessed with it i am obsessed with it it is gorgeous and i got it on clearance for 16 dollars. it has a nice like muted mauve color nice little pastel it also has some really really pretty off-white stitching which i feel like adds a lot of character and once again that texture with tassels that i love so much next up i am going to stick with my same bedding for the most part but i did get a new like quilt slash comforter that i'm going to use as a layer piece for my bedding you guys know i love a nice extravagant fluffy bed with lots of layers lots of pillows all of that so i'm super excited to add this into my bedding in my new apartment so it is this queen like i said it's a three-piece quilt set and i did get it from tj maxx right i think so now that i'm getting older i am trying to mature the color scheme and the decor that i have so instead of going with like a bright pink or like a coral i did opt to go with this like really pretty muted it's like in between like a blush pink and a mauve another decor piece that i'm absolutely in love with i don't want to blind you guys because i do have my lighting going but it is this beautiful beautiful painting and it's just like as a black woman it is so so exhilarating when i'm in the store and i find art centered around black women and of course i definitely want to support black artists who are making things that like actually look like me so i love the white nails and of course i love like the layered gold jewelry and this was created by stormy nesbitt although i did find it at marshall's it was on clearance for 13 dollars. i've seen a lot of her pieces there and i do have a lot of her pieces that are the same style that i'm going to be adding this piece as a collection to in my apartment but it says that she is a phoenix based artist illustrator and graphic designer whose work celebrates the beauty and strength of the black community and a modern minimalist aesthetic i did get a couple of things from amazon that i had just like shipped to my apartment in pennsylvania and one of them is this entryway table i got it on like the amazon prime week or prime day or whatever and i was so debating on getting this in gold or black i ended up getting it in black and i'm super super excited for it it's just a very slim sleek design and i feel like it's going to be super fun to decorate and like liven up a little bit i got these two baskets from home goods and i am absolutely obsessed with them basically i am going to put these underneath my entryway table to sort of brighten that up a little bit with like this natural texture and also the white and i think it's just really going to liven up that space once again living in a pretty small space studio apartment the biggest thing for me alongside you know making it cute and comfy and lively and everything is also maximizing that space incorporating a lot of decor that doubles as storage so i can use these baskets obviously to put a whole lot of stuff in like shoes blankets purses things like that so definitely very functional which is why i had no problem picking these up i showed these in a vlog um i did get them from marshall's they were like 9.99 and 7.99 i believe and they are these little like candle holders and at first i was going to like use them as planters instead but i am going to use them as candle holders and on the inside of these i have these like flameless candles um so yeah I think these are super cute and of course i love the gold gold is another important accent that i like to use in my decor okay so now moving on from that i am going to show you guys the bathroom stuff that i got first starting with another purchase that i got during amazon prime week and they are these shelves that i got for above my toilet to double as decor but once again to maximize the space and use the storage as well so i first saw this idea on pinterest and i really really liked it so i decided that i was gonna get some shelves and do my own thing put my own flavor on it so it did come with a set of three and they are white shelves but they have like these black sort of like 
decals. I, I'm inserting a picture of it here so you guys know what I'm talking about. I also got this little basket from Target's dollar section. It was only five bucks. And in here, I'm going to put like face towels for me to grab to dry my face. I can also stack some towels on there. I've been seeing a lot of people put a lot of different things on those shelves. Next up, this is like so important. At first, I wanted the simple human like shower over the shower head shower caddy, but it was just a little out of my price range even though it is very very nice maybe i'll invest in that at another time but i instead went with this really pretty black matte black and bamboo over shower head shower caddy and i'm really happy with it bamboo doesn't really rust or mildew i don't like to just have my shower essentials on the floor or just like hanging around my bathroom i think that having an over the head shower caddy is a really nice way to add storage inside of your shower and also make it super convenient because all the products that you need are already there and playing off of that sort of matte black which i didn't i did not think i was going to incorporate black into my decor at all but i feel like if it's tastefully and you know done basically if it's done in like little sprinkles it looks really really cute and i did get these matte black shower curtain hooks and for my shower curtain to once again brighten everything up even though i have you know the black shower hook i got this really really pretty it's probably not showing up amazing on camera because the lighting is washing it out but i got this really pretty off-white barely barely off-white shower curtain and it does have some beautiful beautiful texture in it which i love it's 100 percent cotton which is great and yeah i just love the texture of it it's going to be really lightweight but it is going to add a nice brightness and some nice texture into my bathroom another essential is a shower liner they have some that are like more of like a fogged clear but i recommend like the ones that are just like a shiny clear because you barely even notice that it's there and they are more likely to be mildew resistant so got this from tg maxx as well by the brand silt um but it was only seven bucks so yeah next up i did get two new towel sets so it comes with two bath towels, two hand towels, and two washcloths, which are so, so great. I will say one thing that I, for, I regret when I was first like buying things like this my freshman year is not getting them to all match. And so that's something that I did this time around. Also, if you're living by yourself or just while you're in college, you don't need to have like a ton of towels and washcloths and things because it takes up so much space and i had so many towels and washcloths and stuff that i got all the way from my freshman year that i was using last year and like i didn't have any space for them so when i moved out i ended up just like donating them or getting rid of them and they were like brand new because I was really just like using not the same towel over and over again but like when one was in the wash i just i really only needed two like if one was in the wash then i had another one to use i almost forgot but i do have two last things to show you guys for decor before we move on to kitchen stuff and the first thing is something that i'm going to put on my entryway table it's just sort of like a catch-all to put my keys and stuff in um anything that i would want to like grab or drop before i enter or leave my apartment so i got this for 12.99 at tj maxx nice wood texture and it also has this really pretty engravement i think it's going to look so great with the baskets obviously that are going to go under my entryway table and this is going to set on top of my entryway table and lastly i don't really want to take this out of the packaging so hopefully you guys can see it clearly enough to get an idea of what it is i did like tear it open just to get a true read of the color but it's just this pretty small rug um, I would say that it is kind of like a runner rug, but a little wider. My plan is to use this in my entryway, but if it's too wide, then I'll just use it in my kitchen. But it has like all of my colors, so I thought that was really cute and adds that boho element once again. All right, so that is pretty much all of the decor that I have. Of course, I have other stuff that's in storage in Pennsylvania, but this is just like the new stuff that I got to revive my space. I also did donate a substantial amount of the stuff that I had in my last apartment. Just pretty much when I move back in, I'm gonna get myself out of storage and anything that I don't want, I will probably just donate. Glasses are so important. I did get the same set of glasses that I got for my last apartment these are from ikea and i highly highly recommend these glasses they're nice and thick but they're like not too heavy and they are stackable as well so these are just the ikea 365 plus glasses i do already have like plates and you know like 
dishware and things like that um and i did get the i think it's called the vesta or something like that uh collection from target which i will also link in the description box but it's just a very minimalistic very simple white dining set that i highly recommend it comes with bowls saucers plates the whole nine and very affordable and very durable as well so i would recommend these glasses as well as that dining set from target just for like overall aesthetic it's really cute and durability as well i love gold as you guys can tell and i have always 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 wanted like a satin or matte gold silverware set and i told myself like i would wait until i was like living on my own and i did get my gold silverware set from amazon and i had it shipped out once again to my apartment in pennsylvania i am so freaking excited to eat with that silverware we'll insert what it looks like here but it's like a sort of in between like a matte and a satin and it's this really 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 pretty gold and i think it's just gonna make me feel fancy and just it's gonna go along with the aesthetic. I have some cookware here, and basically I pretty much got the same brand and style of cookware that I got from my apartment last year, but I was sharing my cookware with all of my roommates. I mean, they didn't get horrible, but I ended up just donating them, and I told myself I was gonna get a fresh set for when I moved in. So I got this really small eight inch skillet, and this cookware is by Masterclass Premium Collection. I see it all the time at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I got the gray speckled design or like color, but they also have like pink, they have white, they have blue, they also have stainless steel stuff. Um, but I really, really do love their cookware because it's non-stick and the handles remain cool. This 8-inch skillet was $12.99. I got them from Home Goods. I think I got these from like a mixture of TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I see them in the store all the time. I also do have a saucepan that I ended up keeping um, that's like the same masterclass same ordeal and when i was cooking with it in one of my vlogs i got so many questions about where i got them from literally tj maxx or home goods also they have them sometimes at marshall's as well since i didn't have like a casserole sort of cookware kind of thing to cook in i did pick this up to add to my collection and it is just this 11 inch casserole dish i definitely i have the receipt still <laughs> very very durable and yeah it's just really great next up for appliances i got these as christmas gifts a couple of them i already have packed up but my mom got me a set of these three kitchen appliances to all match and it's the drew barrymore collection so this one that i have out is the programmable temperature kettle and it does have like a touch screen touch activated display which i think is really really nice it's white and gold sort of like a brassy gold which is very very pretty line of the toaster and the air fryer and um they do have a soft matte premium finish but it pretty much looks just like it looks on the box and you guys know i love my tea so i'm definitely gonna be using this a lot for tea i'm not so much a coffee person i did end up getting rid of my keurig that i had in my last apartment just because it was kind of fizzling out um and so i'm debating on getting a keurig again i don't really drink coffee that much but it's like i've never lived somewhere without a keurig so i don't know maybe i'll decide like once i move in and everything so i have several more masterclass premium collection sort of like kitchen items that i got and the first one i'm so excited about it's this oil and vinegar container and basically like you can put the balsamic vinegar on the inside and the oil on the outside and it looks so so cool i think it's gonna be great i know like olive oil is supposed to be stored in like a dark container but like it's gonna have to be fine because i love this so much but i've seen very similar things like this on amazon but i love this so much it's just so cute and it's gonna look so cute on my little kitchen counter so yeah, love this a lot. I have three more things that are master class premium collection. I just love their cookware, you guys. It's such great quality. Um, and when I look it up online, I really only see them like eBay and other than like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So I don't know what that's about, but I highly recommend. I got this master class premium collection four piece knife set, and you can't go wrong with a knife set. It's also like really pretty colors, which is what I gravitate towards. Next up, measuring cups, you guys. Measuring cups and measuring spoons. So these are also Masterclass Premium Collection. The both of these are, the tag isn't cooperating. The measuring cup set was $12.99. And when I tell you guys, I bought so many measuring cup sets and then just kept returning them because 
Something that's really important to me is a nice measuring cup. I do not like plastic measuring cups because I hate to like clean them out if I'm measuring like butter or oil or something. That is like a pain in the butt to clean. And stainless steel is just so durable and so much easier to clean than plastic. Also love the little silicone padding it has on the hand rest here, which is gonna make it so much more comfortable to use. And then I also got a stainless steel uh, measuring spoon set as well. So that's another tip that I have for you guys. Me personally, I hate cleaning plastic, okay? Like it, I hate cleaning plastic so much. So just spend a couple extra bucks on the stainless steel, but it will also last longer. And if you guys are putting it in the dishwasher, it'll also hold up better than plastic. Next up, I got this Masterclass Square Cake Pan. Um. I'm probably gonna use it for brownies as well, you know. Great quality, and I do wanna get a couple more baking sheets that match. I am a stickler for like things matching, if you couldn't tell. And I just feel like a kitchen or just anything feels more functional to me when it's not necessarily, it doesn't all have to be one same brand, but if you do discover a brand that you like, I think it's worth it to continue to invest in pieces from that brand. Now for cooking utensils. I will say I cheaped out when I got my first set of cooking utensils and I did get plastic didn't like that did not like that at all but this time around i got a combination of like these stainless steel and silicone ones i did get these at tj maxx and these were only 9.99 and it comes with five pieces it comes with a turner a slotted turner a spoon a slotted spoon and a spaghetti spoon which is so so great so absolutely love these and i love like the neutral color that it is next up i got like a smaller set and this is by the same company it's called cook with color which i've also seen on amazon but i did also get these from tj maxx for 9.99 as well and this is another five piece utensil set and it comes with a whisk a spatula a spoon a spoonula i love a little spoonula a spoonula is gonna do it for me every time and my mom actually picked these up and asked me if i wanted them she really likes them they're by brookstone she did get them for me at tj maxx and they're 7.99 it's like natural acacia wood don't know how these are gonna hold up, but she like swears by them. So I said that I would try them out, but it comes with, like a small one and a big one. It's just nice to have different sizes of tongs. Sometimes the big tongs are too big. Sometimes the small tongs are too small. So it's nice to have a nice variety of sizes. And then I also got this KitchenAid multifunction can opener. A can opener is something you don't wanna really cheap out on or maybe not cheap out on, but like, it's not something that you wanna get from like the dollar store or the Target dollar section. I I'm saying the Target dollar section because I got my last can opener from the Target dollar section and it was not can opening like a can opener should. I'm gonna stick with KitchenAid when it comes to a can opener. Next up, um, this could be considered a decor item, but I feel like, you know, it's a coaster. So I decided to include it in kitchen, uh, but I did get these from Ikea. It's really pretty gold, you know, like coaster set. But then after thinking about it, after putting my critical thinking skills to use, I was like, marble stains. Why would I want to get marble coasters? Because then they're just going to be stained. This looks so questionable, but it's literally just a couple of knives. So these are Farberware. I also love Farberware when it comes to cookware as well. I have some cutting boards from Farberware. They're really great. But um, basically I got a whole pack of knives just because there were three in the masterclass set that I didn't have. And then I gave the rest to my mom. This was like a set of six knives and I kept three and I gave my mom the other three. And it just so ended up working out that like the three that I needed, my mom already had. And then and the three that she needed, I already had. So that worked out really well. Next up, I have some Target dollar section finds. So in my kitchen, you guys know I'm a matcha girl through and through. As I said earlier in this video, not too keen on coffee. I know people like to do like little coffee stations in their kitchen. Well, I'm going to do a matcha station for me to make my matcha every morning because I love matcha. I got these two, two count glass bottle sets from the target dollar section they were three dollars a piece you guys and something that i love about them is the gold little like glass that they have on top of them they are airtight which is absolutely great and i couldn't believe i found these at the target dollar section for less than five dollars so definitely had to get these and i'm going to plan on putting my sugar-free syrups i i read really sugar-free syrups but my syrups um, they don't have to be sugar free to go in here obviously, but I'm gonna put my syrups in these little bottles and I'm gonna display them in my little like matcha slash coffee corner, which is gonna be so so cute So I did get four of them and personally, I really love the Tarani Tarani. I say Tarani 
I love the Tarani syrups. Um, my favorite one is the sugar-free French vanilla. And I've been seeing these a lot at like Home Goods and TJ Maxx, so I definitely did pick it up. However, when I first started seeing them, they used to be $4.99. Now they're $6.99. I'm not too happy about that, but I need it. This is a necessity to me. Matcha and French vanilla, mm, it's gonna do it for me every time. And then I picked up this new flavor, which is this sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon, which I'm very excited about. Next, Target dollar section find that I have, I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love them so much. I actually made a TikTok when I got these. I'm actually drinking out of one of them now. And then I bought another one just in case this one breaks, which hopefully it doesn't. But for $5, I got this little ceramic coffee cup and I love it so much. I love it to drink my matcha out of. It's like the perfect size because I typically do like one cup of milk and like two ounces of like my matcha mixture. And this is just the perfect size for that. I hate walking around with coffee cups or just cups in general that are just way too big for the amount that I'm drinking. And this is like the perfect little size. So right now I'm drinking my peach matcha lemonade out of this. But like I said, I did get another one and it's just the prettiest colors. I love these two colors together so much. So that's all the kitchen stuff. And now we're going to go into our last category which is like cleaning supplies miscellaneous things like that the first thing that i have when it comes to cleaning is this method daily shower spray i think this is going to be perfect i am a huge advocate for cleaning things before they're dirty so this is going to be super great like I, it's pretty self explanatory just a daily shower spray and then i also have as i was just saying these a microfiber cleaning cloth this dispensing sponge brush to like really scrub and clean my kitchen counters my bathroom counter whatever it is and um i also got it in this like gray white and gray i think it all looks cute together and i feel more motivated to do things when the things that i'm using to do things are cute this is the soft scrub cleanser with oxy and it cleans tough stains and leaves a fresh scent i like this stuff to just like really scrub like my shower my bathroom things like that a little goes a long way so I'll use this to mix it with some water so you can get a nice like sudsy foam going and give your bathroom or whatever you're cleaning a nice deep clean i really love soft scrub for that reason next up a must i am a dishwasher user i will be till the day i die and these are the best dishwashing pods they do a really great job of not leaving streaks on your glassware and things like that so this is the finished powerball quantum superior clean and shine highly recommend i believe these are from target as well and then the sponges of the century you guys these sponges i got three packs of them every time i go to ikea i pick up like another pack i love these sponges and they're like a dollar and some change and they're super super durable and i also like that they're white so you can actually see what's on them i don't like using black sponges i don't really like using any black cleaning products because i need to see what's on there so i'll typically go with like a white or a gray so i can see what's going on so i'm not just like you overusing a sponge that like has like mold or something on it you know so these are from ikea super durable and they're cute as well. I have been seeing a lot of TikToks lately talking about how laundry detergent, softener, scent beads are bad for your washing machine and that we should only be washing our clothes with the vinegar. I'm gonna continue to use laundry detergent for obvious reasons. So, my favorite laundry detergent is the tie between Gain and Tide, but I did get this big Tide laundry detergent and Tide, it just smells so good. It's gonna do it for me every time. I did get this big one because shopping for laundry detergent is something that I don't like to do. So the bigger one that I get, the less often I have to shop for it. Fabric softener, I got my favorite scent beads which are the downy unstoppables and i like it in the scent fresh so i got a big one of these too so i won't have to do any like laundry shopping for a while which is great all right you guys that wraps it up for my fourth annual and final college dorm slash apartment haul oh my gosh time really does fly i was just a little little tidbit when i first started doing these videos and now i'm entering my senior year of college um i do want to say thank you guys so so much for supporting me even if you guys are new this is the first video that you guys have watched thank you so much for clicking on it. it really does mean the world i would not be able to you know make these kinds of videos without you guys' support for sure so i'm super super grateful for it and super super grateful for all of you guys i am about to get emotional no sucking the tears because this new mascara that i'm using 
does not deserve to be wasted. If you've made it this far, comment what your favorite store to shop at for apartment, home, or dorm decor and essentials is. Um, and then if you comment that, I will know that you made it to the end and that you are a real one. I am gonna go ahead and sign off, but before I go, I want to remind you guys to spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander, the more you wonder. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Why the cottage in the blues? Yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the jewel